everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jacqueline Boyd and you are at The Care Plan. Uh, this is our channel and we thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. We're always so excited to bring sort of creative ideas about the aging process and healthcare to you and we just encourage you to share it with your networks with somebody who could use this information as well. So today is the day for preaching. I'm talking about care planning early and care planning often. Uh, and that, that really is, I think, care planning in general doesn't get enough attention, uh, but it's one of the greatest tools that we have for creating a pathway to successful aging. So we're gonna deep dive today. I want you to think about what you know about retirement planning, what you know about estate planning, those are kind of common cornerstones for people in terms of, well, okay, I'm getting older, I need to make sure I have my will done, I need to make sure I have enough money for retirement. The real pain points for people though are often being completely overlooked. Everything else falls into the jurisdiction of care planning. Where you'll live, who will care for you, who your medical team is, how you're going to get those needs met how you're going to coordinate care when you are not able to advocate for yourself. Those are the real pain points for people and we just leave them up to chance. So that's why I say care plan early and care plan often. My passion for care planning comes from my personal experience. So I've shared in other videos that I used to work for a home care agency and that was really part of what sparked my interest in care planning and care management. By the time that we saw people, they were already in crisis. They needed caregivers. They were just getting out of the hospital or out of a rehab nursing home facility. They were scared, feeling disempowered, and not feeling great. And I said, after working with about a thousand families, I said, there's a better way to do this. We can demystify the aging process. We can at least make some of these decisions ahead of time. You know, aging is really, it's not an accident and we should treat it like it's going to happen. <laughs> so I think about care planning in the same vein as drafting your will or saving that little bit of money every month for retirement. Care planning should start early and we should be consistent about it. In my own life, I care plan as often as I feel necessary, but for myself, I set time aside every year because I know that the people that are going to show up for me at this point are going to be my friends and my younger relatives. So I take the time every year to get away and to invite those people to come with me so that we're in a fun environment, building relationships, but we spend a day care planning, talking about what does everybody want? What are you scared of? What are you excited for about getting older? Care planning can be a lot of fun and I encourage you to do it with friends, with wine if that's your choice, with food, in an environment that doesn't feel high stress or depressing, this is your life and these are your choices. And once you get into it, I promise it can be a lot of fun. So in summation, the two major reasons to do care planning are to give yourself the choices that you deserve and to relieve the burden on your loved ones. As a culture, we tend to do this to the aging the, to the idea of aging. We're like, nope, not getting older, not thinking about it, holding on to youth for as long as we can and being active and engaged for as long as we can. But the reality is that we're all gonna need help at some point in time. And we don't do our loved ones any favors by not giving them a guidebook. A care plan is really a guide to how you want your care to look. And if you don't talk about it, if you don't say it, if you don't write it down, nobody's gonna know. Ideally, care plans should include the basics of the following. What you want for housing. Do you see yourself staying where you're currently at? Do you want to move to Florida where it's warm and you don't have the freezing cold snow that we have here in Chicago? Do you want to be in an elevator building rather than in a walk-up or a two-story? Um, who do you want around you? Do you want to live next to your family? Do you want to move closer to your friends? or maybe live with your friends. Those are things that take planning. It takes 10 to 15 years to do any kind of co-housing or communal living environment if you're building it from scratch. So housing and location and all of that deserves your time and attention. So that's one area to consider in care planning. Another is legal. What do you want protected? 
What are your advanced directives? Who do you want making choices for you as you age? We have other videos and I've got a specific video on advanced directives that I'll point you to for, for more information on that. So housing, legal, financial. Those are kind of the big three, the holy trifecta. Uh, making sure that you have enough money to age or that you understand what's available to you to supplement your care. Um, and what happens if you run out of money? You know, people think that, gosh, if I don't have any income or I'm living below the poverty level, I don't have choices. That's not true. Almost the majority of the nursing homes in Chicago have to accept Medicaid. Medicaid pays for caregivers in your home. You absolutely have choices no matter what your income level is. But by not looking at it and not planning for it, that choice is taken away. The other two areas are health and then care. And I break those up, right? Because health is about what's happening medically. What's your medical history? What are the medications you're on? Who's your medical providers? Who are the doctors you trust? And if you don't have any, then that's a task to go on to your care plan, finding a medical team that you trust that can follow you and advocate for you. And the final piece is about care. Who is going to care for you? What do you want that care to look like? If we don't think about it, again, that choice is taken away. So I don't know about you, but I know exactly what I want my care to look like. I know exactly what I want to have happen. I've written it down and I've talked to all my loved ones about it. I think this is particularly important in communities where we don't think that we're gonna age. So for LGBTQ communities, as a woman of color, I know this is very true for my communities. People haven't thought about aging because we didn't think it was promised to us. But that's no excuse. It's time for us to claim our aging process and to put it in writing, talk with our loved ones, and begin these conversations so we can all age well together. All right, sermon is over for today, but just remember, plan early, plan often, make it fun, invite your friends and family, talk with me, call me if you have questions, uh, and contact the care plan for any of your care planning or care management needs. I wanna encourage folks to subscribe. We really appreciate you watching these videos and we wanna stay connected. And be sure to post in the comments if there's anything that really resonated with you um, or a, a subject that you'd like to see touched on that we haven't discussed. Thank you so much and take good care.